and welcome to Show Builder Tutorials. Today we're walking through how to share a production. To start with, you need to make sure that any company member you have that you would like to share the production with has an email address listed in their contact information. If they do not have an email listed, you will have to add one to move forward. Now for our purposes, I'm going to pull up a contact and as I do, because I have an email on file for this particular company member, you will see share production with this contact. When I click on this, it will toggle to the on position and Show Builder will automatically send an email inviting this contact to share and access the show. Now enabling this will also add other permissions to this profile as you can see here with all of these different toggles. One of these parameters includes discipline leader. Now as we've discussed in some of our other tutorials, every discipline has a discipline leader and that discipline leader has the ability to allow specific edit permissions to other company members within their discipline. Discipline leaders can also add company members. Now if I, as a discipline leader of sound, add a company member in lighting, if this is the first company member to be added within that discipline, I then have the ability to allow specific edit rights to this company member. That member will also become the discipline leader for lighting. Now, after we have a discipline leader in that particular discipline, I can continue to add other company members within that discipline. However, since there's now an existing discipline leader within, say, lighting, only the lighting discipline leader will be able to change and allow specific edit permissions for those particular company members. Now, looking at the page, we also have a lot of other parameters. That includes discipline edit rights, which allows you to edit things within your own discipline. We have an edit scenes, songs, and dances, which allows you to edit the running order of the show. We have an allowance for can edit company members and contacts, which allows you to add or edit existing company members. There's also an allow contact and catalog merge option here. Now, anytime you join a new show, if the creator of that show has allowed for a contact and catalog merge, the program will ask you if you would like to merge contacts and catalogs with them. Doing so will add all contacts as well as cataloged information that that creator has to your own account. Thus, as you continue to work on various shows, you will then gain a master list of contacts and a significantly enhanced catalog. Lastly, and of great importance, over here would be the Can Edit Private Contact Info. You might remember from our earlier tutorials and dealing with privacy level that we discussed you can place a company member's contact information set to private and then go forth and go company member by company member deciding who is allowed to see that private contact info. This is where you allow that with this toggle right here. If I do not want this particular company member to be able to see private contact info, all I need to do is switch this to the off position. Now, once I'm done with these particular parameters, I can then save and exit back to the grid. Now that I'm back on the main company page, I'd like to bring us back to a previous tutorial. 
When I was going over what things within the grid meant for the company page, I removed some columns here of specific parameters that dealt with edit permissions. Now that we've been over all of these things and we know what they are, I'm going to add them back in to our grid view. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and pull up this particular company member. And as I scroll through our new columns, you can see that I have shared the production with her, that she is a discipline leader, that she has edit rights, can edit running order, can edit company members, and you may remember that I deselected can edit private contact info. That is a basic overview of how to share a production. We hope this was a useful video for you, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave us a comment below or send us an email. Thanks for stopping by, and let's get on with the show.